How's it going guys? My name is Jesse Scalante and look, we've all made mistakes. I just heard a video about Patrick Bed David about 12 mistakes that he made as an entrepreneur and I personally want to talk about 10 of those, okay? 10 mistakes that I've made as an entrepreneur. Here we go guys. All right, so mistake number one. I almost quit, okay? I almost quit when I was an entrepreneur, when I became an entrepreneur for the first year. I have a brick and mortar soccer program and I also have an online business. The way I can relate with those two is when I have my brick and mortar business for about a year and a half, yes, we made some revenue, but we didn't have enough clientele. Without a lot of clientele, we can't do what we do best, which is coaching. And here's the thing, we almost quit. We almost quit and the reason we almost quit was because not enough revenue was coming up, there was a lot of competition and we were scared to death that, hey, we started this thing going and it's probably not gonna go too well. And look, I'm so happy we did not quit, my brother and I. We also, uh, I also have an online business. Now with my online business, I started with affiliate marketing. With affiliate marketing, I thought I knew it all right off the bat because the concept is easy, but you gotta put in the hard work. And so I didn't do too well in the first uh, affiliate business that I started on, but luckily, luckily I had a little bit of knowledge that I took into the second time I started it, and I've been doing very, very well with this affiliate business. It is much easier to quit than to actually do the work and make it pro uh, prosper. Okay, without, without putting in the work, your business is not gonna prosper. And look, we were to those stages of almost quitting, but we're so happy uh, three years now into the business that we did not because our business has uh, bloomed more than we ever thought. And so I hope you guys, I hope you guys don't quit. Number two guys, trying to take advice from way too many people. I was taking advice from at least, at least when we started about five people. Somebody was telling me, look, run your business this way, run your business that way. Maybe you should do youth, maybe you should do uh, training for toddlers, maybe you should do this, this and that. A lot of information was coming in and it kind of became a little overwhelming listening to too many people and here's the thing we weren't really listening to what we wanted we were almost doing what everybody else wanted my brother and i sat down we we took these ideas from different people and we build our own uh, soccer development program for all ages the way that we want to and the way that we believe is the best way to develop kids adults professionals into a better soccer player in the future Good, number three, relating to number two is not knowing how to ask for advice. Yes, there is people telling us how we should run our business, but at the same time, we should want be the ones with the final decision. Even then, we must be able to ask for advice for somebody that's already been there and done that. Now with so much competition, you research of how to do this, how to do that, even for my online business. You gotta have mentors. Without mentors, it's gonna be very, very difficult to do everything on your own. It's like reading a book. When you read a book, you learn the philosophy, the mindset, all the struggles that somebody else has overcome that you can apply for your own business. So be able, okay, be able to be open-minded. Don't have a, such a big ego that you can do everything on your own. Ask for advice and I promise you, things will be much, much simpler and better for the future of your program, for the future of your business. Number four, forcing versus influencing. Now, when we started our business and my online business, I just wanted to get everybody, look, we're doing this, come to us, come to us. We have such a great program, I have such an on, a great online business. Come join, come join. That was the forcing part of it. Whereas here, communicated in a video, I'm almost influencing. So instead of telling people, hey, do this, be successful, come with me, I'll help you. Just think of setting an example with influence. Okay, let's do that. Good, number five is living the dream too early. When the money starts coming, guess what? Almost direct deposit to the club, direct deposit to the bars, to the parties, on the alcohol, on, um, on all those fun things that we, are, honestly, we do not need to spend so much time in. We need to completely change those habits in order to, guess what? Stay in business with your program. That's the most important part of your business, staying in business for the long run. Save your money on the expensive cars, on the expensive houses, on the expensive parties, on just blowing money every single weekend, okay? 
to try to live the dream and letting, thinking other, making others think that you're rich, making others think that you have all that money. Guys, save all that stuff. You don't need it. Stop trying to live the dream too early or else you're gonna get out of business, all right? Number six is thinking that I knew it all. When I started specifically affiliate marketing online, the concept of it is actually fairly simple. Very, very simple. But you gotta put in the work in order to be successful. Now, thinking that I knew it all, uh, I procrastinated. I became my own boss, okay? Uh, if, any, uh, if anybody's been working for anybody else, you know that you gotta go do your nine to five, the usual nine to five. When you become an entrepreneur, instead of thinking that, hey, I'm only gonna work three to four hours, no, you almost double those hours, okay? So you gotta be working for at least maybe 10, 12 hours a day in order to stay in business and become successful so you can become your own boss and in the future maybe work much less hours while it's actually more fun, okay? So stop, th stop thinking that you know it all. The moment that you think you know it all is probably the time that um, you're gonna just uh, run out of batteries in other words okay so stop thinking that you know it all I made that big mistake and I think the best thing that can happen to somebody is hitting rock bottom I've said this before and I'll say it again you gotta forever continue to learn and be a student for life okay be a student for life number seven is very similar to living the dream and that is partying too hard if you're partying every single weekend you're spending too much money okay instead of thinking of spending that money um, why don't you go and try to own that club why don't you go and try to own that bar you don't see those people there they just own that place and collect the money okay start thinking as an entrepreneur now with partying hard you also get all these hangovers you get um, you start feeling like crap the next day and you guys know exactly what it feels like if you've done that before I did that all my college years and guess what I didn't get too far and yes I went from partying too hard to almost being a very boring person a very very boring person just hanging out with my family hanging out with my brothers my girlfriend that is it a very very boring lifestyle now to me it's an amazing lifestyle I love doing those things but to others it probably seems very very boring just because um, it's not the same thing that used to happen back in the days and those people pulling you down um, are no longer in the scene it is important to party and celebrate for those accomplishments that you do uh, fulfill but here's the thing it can't be every single weekend it can't be every every two weekends now when you are progressing then you have a little bit more leniency so you can actually celebrate with your family and your close ones but stop partying too hard guys it's not any good for you your body and the people around you actually specifically for your future as well number eight is acting like a boss instead of an entrepreneur when you act like a boss you can't really hold yourself too accountable you are used to a nine to five when you're used to a nine to five you gotta wake up at a certain time, go to work, be there for the, the eight hours or more, come back and that's your day. Now when you're your own boss, if you don't hold yourself accountable, you're probably gonna say, okay, I can wake up a little bit later than usual. Okay, I'll get that done if I do it at three or 4 p.m. If I get that for three hours. No, you gotta stop thinking that way. As an entrepreneur, you're gonna be working more hours like I mentioned before. You're gonna be working longer hours so that in the future, you do have that success and you do get that entrepreneurship mentality and that entrepreneurship uh, success that you've always desired, the life of freedom. That sounds amazing. Number nine is not having a schedule. When you're working the nine to five, it's very simple. I'm gonna be working five to six days, eight hours, my 40 hours, maybe 60 hours, 70 hours. So be uh, what you are actually working. As an entrepreneur, things are a little bit different. You must have a schedule. It doesn't have to be precise to maybe a year, okay? But it does have to be precise with the day, with the week, even with the month if you actually can. It's very, very important to uh, know what is happening in your schedule on a daily basis so that you can limit your time with some people. There's some people that you can spend five minutes in but not hours, okay? There's a couple people that you can spend a couple hours with but not days and the cycle continues going. You gotta realize that your time is very, very valuable. You can't be wasting time on activities that are not actually producing you either income or a, a life of success, a life of success for you, your family, your future, your children, your legacy. 
it's okay to get distracted by little things every now and then or calling a friend and those kind of things but if you don't have a schedule create one so that you know that your little gaps that you have free time in you can invite other people to do something with so if you don't have a schedule make sure you create one highlight it whatever you need to do make it fun but at the same time know how important it is to schedule your time because your time is very valuable very very valuable and number 10 is not knowing the value of a business plan this goes with having a schedule as well without a business plan there is no goals if you have a goal that by the end of the month you're gonna have 10 to 20 new clients well you better be making the 100 calls a day maybe the 200 calls a day so that you can fulfill that and if you surpass it guess what that is amazing as well it's okay to surpass your expectations because now guess what your business plan gets a little different, okay? You can add a little bit to your business plan and those are always great things for your success. So make the calls, follow up with your emails, let them know, give them some type of value on a daily basis. Let them know that you care for their future or else they will not reciprocate the exact same way back. Same thing with footage like this. Reciprocate, give value, and other people will reciprocate the exact same way. All right, guys, so which of those mistakes have you made? Now, this can either be as an entrepreneur or relating to maybe something else that you've done in life. It's very, very easy to quit. It is very, very easy to make mistakes and not learn from them, okay? It's always important to become a student, to forever be a student so we can continue learning. Look, listen, if you would like to start an online business, a successful affiliate marketing business, you guys can click the link below and you will see it on the first little caption, uh, my number one recommendation to become uh, uh, successful, a successful online affiliate marketer. Guys, make sure you guys click the like button and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification so that you can get these videos as soon as they come out on a weekly basis. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll leave you with this nice little view of our stadium. It's such a beautiful view. And you guys take care. God bless.